in terms of proving the survivability and the power production, we are now very satisfied with the results. We can now confidently say that the machine is doing what it was supposed to do. We finished the, the quite long dry testing period where we really stabilized and debugged the equipment. It went on a trailer from Stockholm to Gothenburg, then it took a ferry to Scotland, drew up through Aberdeen, and then we shipped it to Orkney by the end of November. Quite a few things has happened since we left Stockholm. And we are very satisfied with the results. Uh, so we have been going through a long list of challenges. Uh, of course, uh, much around the practicalities of, of the testing, uh, very much around the auxiliary support systems, such as the microgrid and the tidal regulation unit and the anchors and things around the WEC device itself that has required additional engineering and, and adjustments that could generate the data with the performance that we were looking to, to prove. Uh, but since January, we can now uh, confidently say that we have demonstrated the survivability of the device. We've seen the device operating in storms up to 50 knots of wind, and we have had waves up to four meters, uh, so in a half-scale device. In full scale, that's the equivalent to eight meter waves uh, that we have verified it in. And then the device goes into survivability mode, which is the way that we can protect our system from having high loads. And because of that, uh, getting a, a much improved survivability. It's gone really well. I mean, we're delighted to, to see the machine out there and, and proving the particular point that they, they were making about the, um, the, the wave spring and their particular approach to, to wave energy. Because the thing is, there are a number of different ideas that are out there, uh, and some of them are going to be right and some of them are going to be wrong. Um, and what we saw there was with uh, Core Power's uh, system, that it was doing what they intended it to do. It, it was working. Um, and so proving that technology has been, has, has been great. We, we've all got a buzz out of seeing them succeed. Uh, the BI has been extremely reliable, but it was also the purpose of doing a long uh, dry testing uh, here in Stockholm. We can definitely say that the device itself, the core technology proved itself. I think the operations, offshore operations, have gone better than we expected because we have a lot of experience of um, technologies coming and there's usually something unexpected always happens and causes a problem. Um, from our perspective, there's certainly ha that hasn't happened. Um, and, you know, we maybe would have expected to have um, retrieved and the device more often than, than what has happened, but I think that's testament to the design and, and the detail that's gone into that and the, the thinking and planning. When it comes to the power production, uh, in Stockholm we had verified all the different sea states that we could encounter in Orkney in the dry testing rig and we had calibrated our numerical models uh, based on the results from the dry testing. And then in the production we've seen here in Orkney, in every single sea state that we have tested, actually the machine has produced slightly more power in the ocean compared to the expectations from the numerical models, which is satisfying. In all points tested, the device has actually exceeded expectations uh, slightly. Well, we're, we're very pleased with what Core Power has done. It's a fantastic team and that is very important. The technology they're using is very promising technology. We're, we're very impressed with it. Uh, everything I've heard from those who are seeing results coming through from the device is that it's all very positive. Um, and I know that the Core Power team themselves have been really pleased with what they've seen and you know, we wish them every success in the future. And we hope that success is back here.